In this video, we will be studying about the types of bar diagrams. Number one is your simple bar diagram. Simple bar diagrams are those diagrams which are based on only the single set of numerical data. So it is a single set of numerical data. Let's suppose you are given year and you are given the birth rates. Year and you are given birth rate. So let's say you are given the birth rate 45, 35, 30. 28, 24 and the years are from 2010, 2011, 2012, 2012, 2013, then 2013, 2014, 2014, 2015. So these are the years and these are the birth rates. So we can draw, draw the bar diagram. Here we can take the birth rate. Here we can take the year. Let's take it on the scale of 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Right? Now Let's make the bar diagrams in the year 2010 and 11 it was 45. Yeah. So in 10, 2010 and 2011 it was 45. Then in 2011 and 12 it was 35. So in 10 and 11 11 and 12, it was 35. Then it was 30. In 2012, 30. Then it was 28, somewhere here. In 2013, 40. Then it was 24, somewhere here, let's see. In 2014 and 15. So these are the bar graphs. If you will make with the scale and pencil, it will be accurate with the equidistance and the same breadth. You have to keep the breadths equal and the same distance between the bar graphs. Here. You have to keep them equal. So in this way, these with one num uh, single set of numeral data. The bar diagram we made is a simple bar diagram. Your multiple bar diagrams. See, your multiple di bar diagrams are those diagrams which show two or more set of data simultaneously. These data are used to make comparison between two set of series. Let's say we take the birth rate and death rate. So this is one bar diagram of 2011-12. And this is the other one diagram. This is showing the birth rate. The yellow color is showing the birth rate. And the green color is showing the death rate. So when more than uh, two set of data are shown simultaneously, it becomes your multiple one. Like this and then this in 2000 and then let's say in the other year it's this and then in the other year it's this. So if you make it pencil and scale you will get a proper bar diagram. So these are your multiple bar diagrams. The other kinds are subdivided bar diagrams or differential bar diagrams. In this only one diagram you need 
for the corresponding error and new part of the values. Let's see with an example. But you are given else 2011 12 12 13 13 14. Okay. You are given the Production of electricity from different sources that first you are producing through hydroelectricity through hydro source and the other you are producing the thermal electricity. Right. So from hydroelectricity you are producing 46 in 2012-13 you are producing uh, 49, 13-14 you are producing 48. With thermal electricity 64, 72, 82. Let's do the total. We have got 110, 121 and 130. Now let's make the bar diagrams. Here. So this is your bar diagram. So we are taking the production here and here here. Let's take it on the scale of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Right? In the year 2011-12, we have the total production of 110. So here somewhere. So let's make a one diagram 110. Total. 110. Then out of which 46 are your hydroelectricity somewhere here. Which shows that this green area shows your hydro electricity and your this area shows sixty four. That is your thermal electricity. So, sixty four. is your thermal electricity and 46 is your hydroelectricity in the year 2011 and 12. In the same way we can make for the year 2012-13 what is your total production that is 2 1 to 1 121 times so 121 out of which 49 is through hydro 49 somewhere here is from hydro and 72 is your thermal So 72 is your thermal and 49 is your hydro in the year 2012 and 13. The same way you have to make for 130 somewhere here. This. So 130. In which 48 is your hydro. This. 48 is hydro and 
eighty two is here one thirty minus forty eight gives you eighty two. So forty eight is your hydro and eighty two is your thermal. In this way, with this you have denoted your thermal production and with this you have denoted your hydro production. So this is your subdivided bar diagrams. Now you are subdividing a single bar down in, uh, bar diagram into the different characteristics. So single bar graph is divided into the different characteristics. So this is known as a subdivided bar diagram. Now the percentage bar diagram. So these are the do those diagrams which show simultaneously different parts of the values of a set of data in the terms of percentages. You convert the data in the terms of percentages. Let's see this example sector we have given with primary, secondary and tertiary. So and then you are given with here 2014 15 2014 sorry 2015 16 then in this you are given the gdp so this is the gdp 822 415 1284941 28 lakh 30,61,589 so this is your 52,43,582 so these are the years in 2014-15 what was your GDP in 2015-16 what was your GDP from different sectors in the percentage bar diagram what you do you convert this into the percentages so percentage of year 2014-15 how you calculate the percentage this divide by this into 100 so 8 2 2 4 1 5 divide by 4 9 3 7 0 0 6 into 100 which gives you 16.66 then comes 26.03 then comes 57 Right. The percentage of year 2015-16. You again you get the percentages by the, uh, this divided by this into 100. So you get 16.17, 41.62. Sorry, 16.17. You have the 25.45. Other you have the 58.38. So this is the percentage so you will total the total of percentage is always 100. So in this way you can again do, draw your bar diagram. The fifth comes your deviation bar diagram. See in this um, deviation bar diagram they used to compare the net deviation of related variables with respect to time and location. So your bars representing positive as well as negative deviations are drawn above and below the baseline. So these diagrams are known as the deviation bar diagram. Let's say we have the year 2011, 12, 13, 14. And we have the so savings or deficit in rupees 
So in 2011, the savings were 30. There was a deficit of minus 20 in 2012. Then in 2013, it was saving was 15, and there was a deficit of minus 25 in 2014. So in this way, what you do, you make the bar diagrams. Here you take the savings. Down you take the deficit because your deficits are negative. So let's take on the scale of 10, 20, 30, then minus 10, minus 20, minus 30. So in the year 2011, we had 30-year saving. In 2012, we have deficit of let's say uh, it's minus 20 in 2012 2011 30 minus 20 in 2013 again we have a saving of 15 15 in 2013 in 2014 again we have a deficit of 25 so here goes your minus 25 in 2014. So in this you uh, show the deviation that is your plus and minus. So positive and negative attributes or numerals when you show on this diagram then it becomes your deviation bar diagram. I hope you have understood the types of bar diagrams. Do download our college learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.